Hi everyone, welcome to today's video where we'll cover how to manage notifications. You'd want to watch this if you're like me that has an alarm for everything and when I say everything, I even have one to remind myself to take lunch. Internal notifications are email communications to you or your team members that help remember significant dates, deadlines or the most impactful and crucial moments during the customer journey. Now, in ActiveCampaign, there are four different type of notifications that you can create and send from your account. The first one is when a contact submits an ActiveCampaign form. In this notification, you can select who should receive it. This notification is configured on the form level. Let me show you how to set it up. Click Site, then Forms. We could edit one that we already have by clicking Edit and then Options. And in the form action, we can choose the email results option followed by entering the email address of the person that will receive the notification. Or if we are creating a new form, the option to email the results will show in this drop down. The second notification type is the one we can configure when contacts subscribe or unsubscribe from our lists. Notifications are set up on a per list basis and will be sent to any email address you specify. You may want to use this option if you wish to simply receive a notification when a contact subscribes to your list or when they click an unsubscribe link in a campaign that was sent to the list they are subscribed to. Let's go ahead and configure it together in the platform. From lists, Click on the drop down menu beside the list you want to set the notification for and then advanced settings. Type the email address that should receive the notification into the field provided for when someone subscribes or unsubscribes to your list. The next notification is the deal notifications. For example, you can receive a notification if a new deal is added to a pipeline or if there is an update to a deal owned by you. As a note, keep in mind that the Deals and CRM feature is available on the Plus Professional and Enterprise plans. Let's see it in the tool. From Settings, we click on Notifications and then click the checkbox for each notification you would like to receive. Click the Frequency drop-down to choose how often you would like to receive these notifications and then save the settings. The notifications will be sent to the email address associated with the account user. Now, the last way we can configure notifications is with automation. From an automation, we can select a trigger, which if we see here, we can select the triggers for when someone subscribes or unsubscribes to or from a list and also when they submit a form. Or select the CRM related triggers like enters a pipeline or deal status changes. From here, we'll select the relevant option and then we would want to add an action and from the sending options folder, we can select the send a notification email action. And you can really use this send a notification email option, not only in these three scenarios, but also when a contact completes any step in your automation. The difference to do it this way is that you can personalize the message that the person will receive. Thank you for watching up until here. I had a great time walking you through notifications and really hope you found that helpful. If so, don't forget to hit that like button and make sure to subscribe to our channel. And of course, if you have any questions or thoughts, let us know in the comments section below. See you in the next video.